Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor and today I want to talk to you about some book recommendations I have for you. Um, and due to the current climate, I hope everyone is safe just now. I hope you're perhaps even if you're in isolation, if you currently are unwell, I hope you're being safe. And I have just some book recommendations for you if you are um, looking for a distraction at the moment. I'm struggling to read myself. I'm my my brain is just too busy. I'm constantly watching the news. I'm constantly talking to people around me about what's going on in the world, and I'm not being able to focus on reading very well just because my mind is so busy. Um, so I just wanted to share with you some books that I have read and loved and have come back to again and again, and I just find them really engrossing. Um, books that I enjoy so much, and I. Hope these recommendations will do you well whilst you're in isolation too or perhaps um, practicing social distancing um, these books will just take you out and stop worrying about what's going on in the world so the first book i have is called dead until dark by charlene harris and this is the first book in the suki stackhouse series or otherwise known as true blood and um, there's a tv show um, about it, made in America, um, about this book series. Uh, this follows Suki, who is a young woman living in, I think, Louisiana in America, and she has uh, the ability to read minds, and vampires in this world have just announced themselves to humans. They've just come out, as you'd say, and this is Suki's adventure, discovering that vampires are real, and other creatures maybe about and what her powers can do and yeah it is mostly say, supernatural I should say and but it is a romance series and it's a very long book series as well um, I think there's 12 or 13 books um, so I just find them great fun uh, they're really absorbing um, and I find Charlene Harris's writing really really easy to read it's not simplistic but it's not overly challenging it's not a dense fantasy or anything like that so I would really recommend this and perhaps maybe if you're not interested in actually reading the books maybe the TV show would work for you. On a completely different note I would like to recommend The Lord of the Rings by G.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, this is very dense compared to the Suki Stacker series um, but I would really recommend this because if you've got a long time to read this is such a good book to pick up. I find that this isn't a book to read if you've only got 20 minutes, half an hour here or there. This is a book you really have to get your teeth into and read for a couple of hours at a time because it is very lyrical, it is very dense, um, very, very wordy and you really have to dedicate the time to it and maybe in general you don't have the time to sit and read that much in one sitting. So if you're interested in Lord of the Rings, I'm not sure I have to really give a synopsis. I think everyone in the world knows a little bit about what the Lord of the Rings are, especially if you've perhaps seen the films. Um, it's just this group of people go on an adventure to trying to save the world. Um, it's got some really lovely friendships in it, really lovely relationships. And the world and the lore in Middle Earth is just so fascinating. The next book I would like to recommend is Ravensgate by Anthony Horowitz. This is the first book in the Power of Five series, where there's five books and this series is so good it's so underrated and i don't really hear many people talking about it this is anthony horowitz also wrote the alex Ryder, a spy books if you remember them and i just think the series is so good um each book follows a different team and they discover they have powers and they discover these creatures called the old ones and that the world is coming to an end and they have to unite together these young people, discover these powers, they're across the world and they just have to fight these old ones. It's leading to this big fight with the old ones that's been prophesized, sort of. And each book's very different, each book follows different characters and it all interweaves and interconnects and it's just great fun. Um, it is young adult and it is for maybe perhaps slightly younger readers. Um, those who maybe like Percy Jackson and Harry Potter would perhaps love this. Um, but I would encourage anyone to pick it up because it's just a good fun read and it's very engaging and it's a book you can fly through. You can really fly through this series, I think. Um, so if you're wanting just something quite fast-paced and just quite fun 
um, I would definitely recommend this. Um, the sh cover's really, really shiny. <laughs> The next book I would like to recommend is actually a graphic novel series. It, it's Saga by is it Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. This is the first in the Saga series. And this is a space opera, um, science fiction graphic novel series. And the art in here is beautiful and the story is just so good. Um, it's two warring worlds, a planet and a moon. Their species have been at war for a very long time and the two people on the front cover, um, they're different species but they meet in unlikely circumstances and they fall in love and they have a child and that's not a spoiler, you find that out at the very, very beginning and you know, their love overcomes the differences between these two planets and, or planet and moon I should say, and, and it's just their adventure of them with their child trying to run from their prospective home countries um, that are looking for them because they think they've committed treason by falling in love with each other. Um, yeah, the art's beautiful. Um, the different species in here are really beautiful, but I would caution that this is very, very graphic in both uh, terms of violence and sexual content. It is a very adult graphic novel series, but I would, would recommend it if you've not picked it up before. Um, I think there's nine of them out just now, and the uh, They've taken a break and I don't know if they're going to actually come back to Saga, um, but yeah, it's such a fun ride. And the next four books I have to show you are science fiction. I really love science fiction and I find it is a great way to escape and literally visit other worlds. So the first book I would like to recommend is The Martian by Andy Weir. I've talked about this on my channel a few times in the last couple of months, but I really, really would recommend it. It's such a a fun ride. Um, it's following this main character who, with a team of people, a small team of people, they travel to Mars to a space mission. Um, something goes wrong and he gets trapped on Mars and his crew leave him thinking him for dead and the space mission's over. There's not enough left on Mars and their little setup they had made for him to survive um, because that was the end of the mission and they only brought what they needed because Mars is so far away. Um, so yes, it's his adventure being a clever astronaut that he is, him setting up ways to collect water, to collect food and to survive. And it's written in a kind of mission log um, style, it's not normal prose. Um, he's filling in a mission log to send back to Earth uh, as a record of what's going on. So it's quite tongue in cheek, um, it's quite serious in some places, but um, the main character is very self depreciating and very jokey with his humour and quite sarcastic. And I just think it's great fun and it's very suspenseful because it's written in mission logs um, you feel like you get to the action very very quickly because it's constantly just him updating about what's going on and the impending doom I suppose of that and it's just really exciting and I couldn't put it down I read it really quickly because I just felt the sense of urgency that I had to finish and enjoy the story so yeah I would really recommend this and again for this one there is a film too if you would rather watch that and the next book is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. It's great fun. It's about a young teen who um, uses like a virtual reality um, and people all over the world use virtual reality for practically everything in their life and there ends up being this big competition and it's just great fun. Uh, meeting new people, meeting friends. Um, there's that kind of fantastical element in it because um, it's a virtual reality, anything and everything can happen. And the characters are really fun, it's a really fast paced story, the plot's interesting and again there's a film if you'd rather watch the film rather than read the book. But yeah, it's just a very, very absorbing book and I just find it such a fun concept and I think this has spawned a lot of ideas for books in recent years and I really think you should read it. It's good fun. And the next book on my list is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is a sci-fi series set in space, um, doesn't appear to have any other extraterrestrial creatures, it's just about humans who have spread across the galaxy. Um, something happens on a planet and these people they have to evacuate. It's about two young lovers and it's about uh, AI, I can't even explain it, um, but it's written in a really interesting format. It's not traditional prose. It's written like digitally, 
I suppose I should say it's like mission logs, it's voice notes, it's text messages, um, and it's just so much fun. Um, you think this is a huge book and then you quickly really read it. It's just so fun and because it's written in such a different way, I was concerned that I wouldn't sorry, connect with the characters because it's not traditional prose, but I found that I fell in love with these characters so, so quickly. I got so invested in their story and it's such a quick read. This is a trilogy, um, it's Illumini, Gemina and Obsidio and if you can read all three back to back, you're in for a world of fun. And yeah, high stakes, saving the world, um, and it's just, oh, I can't even describe it. Just a lot of fun and a good way to escape if you're um, wanting a good distraction. This is great because it's a bit of a mystery as well and you're trying to puzzle out what's going on and it's great fun. And the last book on this list is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This should come as no surprise. I have praised this book countless times over the last month or two since I read it. Um, probably talked about it far too much. This is set in space. It's got lots and lots of other alien species and it's quite a slow and meandering story and it's about friendship and relationships and there is a plot obviously <laughs> but it's just a slower paced book and it's just beautifully written. These characters are so fantastic and Becky Chambers does a brilliant job of describing these other creatures and their lifestyles and their communities and she builds such a big picture, it's such a huge universe out there and she does a fantastic job of really delving into what could be out there and how humanity interacts with these other species. It's such a good book. It's a very different pace from some of these other books I've talked about, it's very slow paced. But perhaps that's what you need, you might need something very slow and very meandering um, as a good distraction, so I would definitely recommend this as well. Anyway, that was my recommendations for books that will be a good distraction and I just want to say again that I hope everyone is staying safe and is being sensible about the current situation and across, across the world and I will see you in the next video.